We're with head coach Larry Sudbrook to talk about the uh, National Letter of Intent class that he just signed. Coach, let's start with uh, Jonathan Diaz. What do you think he can bring to you uh, this next fall? Well, Jonathan's a kid that uh, was also a highly successful football player. He was a quarterback uh, the last few years. Uh, this year he moved to a uh, slot back in a wide out position. He's very athletic, tall, 6'2", 6'3", kid who runs extremely well. And he's also got the rare combination of power and speed. So as an outfielder, we think Jonathan's going to be able to come in and uh, go first to third, steal a base, uh, run the ball down in the outfield with his athleticism, uh, and still have the ability to hit doubles and home runs, which is a uh, rare combination. So uh, uh, we think he's somebody that uh, projects as a center fielder and a middle of the lineup hitter in the future. Uh, Cameron Carney, uh, a Niagara Falls native, uh, a pitcher, you're always looking for arms. Uh, what are you hoping from him? Well, Cam's a guy right now that's a uh, mid upper 80s guy that uh, we think has a body that uh, is going to get uh, bigger and stronger once he gets on the weight room. So we think he's a guy that eventually will settle into an upper 80s guy, uh, potentially even a low 90s, and he has a good second pitch. Uh, so we think he's a guy that uh, eventually should be an Atlantic 10 conference pitcher for us. And then finally, uh, a pair of classmates, actually, uh, Zach Edwards and Nate Shaw. Uh, Edwards is a right-handed pitcher, and Shaw is a shortstop. Uh, what are you looking for for them? Well, Zach Edwards, uh, one of the things that a lot of scouts will tell you that uh, uh, everyone in the old days, and still to some degree today, they love to uh, draft people by the radar gun, but a lot of scouts will tell you that uh, they think if a guy can't throw strikes, they almost never can throw strikes. They always struggle with the strike zone, and strike throwers are guys that are successful. And Zach's not the biggest guy. He's uh, probably 5'11", 6' tall, but he's a strike thrower. He pounds the strike zone with all three pitches, uh, throws in the mid-80s with a good breaking ball and a changeup. And we think he's going to be successful at the college level because uh, he's a strike thrower with three pitches. And Nate Shaw is just a very good athlete. I mean, he's been playing on elite travel teams uh, for a long time. Uh, high school shortstop with good hands, uh, good feet, uh, has some bat speed. So we think he's a guy... Uh, as you may or may not be aware of, I mean, the bats this year, they have finally, the NCAA has always threatened to make them like wood. Well, they did this year. So we think people like uh, Nate Shaw and Jonathan Diaz, who are athletically gifted people, are going to be able to do things besides just uh, uh, swing and hit a home run with the old bats. You're going to have to be able to play defense and run the bases. And the other two boys, uh, Carney and Edwards, are both strike throwers. And that's going to be important uh, with the new bats that we're going to be using. Okay. Thanks a lot, Coach.